Do you frequently receive the same cargo, items, or inventory and manually enter the same data day after day? Magaya can reduce manual data entry with the Inventory Item Definitions feature. Hi, I'm George, and in this video, I'll define items and then show you how easy it is to receive items by selecting the definition. Let's go! Go to the Warehousing folder and select Inventory Item Definitions. Click the Add button. The software gives you options to choose from based on your operations. This option, Add Inventory Item, is often used by freight forwarders, 3PLs, or other logistics providers who don't handle the accounting of items. To see an example of adding a resale item, watch our other video on managing expiration dates and lot numbers. On the General tab in the Part Number field, enter a number for this item to help identify it. The part number may be assigned by the manufacturer or the customer, or it can also be your own internal number that you use to keep your inventory. Dashes in the number are not recommended. This field is mandatory and cannot be edited after the inventory item is defined. The SKUs or SKU button is optional. Just click it and add codes as needed. Continue adding the rest of the information you need to define this item, such as a description, if it's a pallet and how many items per pallet, the package type, and dimensions. The checkboxes for handling serial numbers are on by default. Uncheck them if it doesn't apply to this item. The other tabs are optional. Add as much detail that applies because this will speed up receiving these items and reduce manual data entry. Click OK to save the definition. The item will display in your list of inventory item definitions. Now that your inventory item is defined, it's available in your Magaya system to be used for transactions such as warehouse receipts and pickup orders. Let's add an item to a warehouse receipt. Go to the Commodities tab. Click the Add button and select Add Commodity. Click the arrow in the Part Number field and select the definition. Select the location to receive it. If you have a default receiving location set up, it will fill in for you. Add the pieces received. You'll see all the other information that you define automatically display in these fields. The other tabs are optional. Click OK when you're done. The item is saved in your warehouse receipt. For faster receipt of items, Magaya has these options available. You can scan barcodes with a linear barcode scanner, add photos with the Binder app, use the Flow WMS app, Add a dimensioner to get photos, weight, and dimensions instantly. Did you know the commodity list shows all received items? And you can create reports of items from the Actions button or the Reports menu on the top. For cargo in and out reports, go to the Warehousing folder, Inventory Item Definitions, and click the Actions button for in and out reports. As always, find more in the Magaya Knowledge Base. Thanks for watching.